What's up Illumineers, it's Charlie here, and today we are bringing to you an unboxing of the latest Illumineers trove for Shimmering Skies. Let's find out what's inside, and whether it's worth you picking one up this set. Let's go! Today we are looking at one of our favourite Locarna products, the Illumineers trove, this time from Shimmering Skies. As we've come to expect, the art on the trove fully embraces the theme of this set, featuring this beautiful artwork of the celebration of the great Illuminary following Ursula's defeat. The top of the trove is particularly striking this set, with the Locarna logo replacing the card art we saw in the previous troves. As we've seen in previous sets, each side of the box has details of some of the new card arts introduced with Shimmering Skies, such as one of our favourites, Donald Duck Peislinger, as you can see here. And the bottom features each of the ink colours. Taking a look inside, the trove contains everything we've come to expect with the previous two sets. First of all, perhaps the most important part, 8 individual booster packs with the new art for Shimmering Skies. We'll save these for the end of the video in case you want to see what we get. As usual, we have a themed lore spin counter inside the box, following the colour palette from this set. This was very successful with the previous troves, so we can see why Ravensburger have kept it up here. That being said, I think we probably have about 10 different law counters dotted around our house at this point, so it could be nice to see something else take the slot maybe next time. Also, another very popular inclusion from the previous set are the card dividers. Thankfully, this set sees the return of the ink colour dividers compared to the rarity dividers from Ursula's return. Personally, we much prefer this option as we use these for our bulk commons and uncommons, which are organised by ink colours. And was there anyone out there really using the rarity dividers for their collection? Of course, the quality of the dividers remains great, comparable with the previous two troves. Ours from Into the Inklands are still holding up well, so we expect the same from these ones. Finally, the last items we have here are the dice damage counters. These haven't really changed at all since the previous sets, and we've got another 6 beautiful transparent dice with sparkles inside. Visually, I still probably prefer the Ursula's Return dice, but these are very smart looking too. And there you have it, that's what's inside the Shimmering Skies trove. Not really any surprises, but it's nice to see Ravensburger maintaining the quality. For us, we definitely think the value of a trove is really good, since you get so many useful items alongside the 8 booster packs. But what do you think? Let us know down in the comments, are you picking up a trove this set? And for anyone sticking around, let's speed up this unboxing and open some packs together. Wish us luck, and for everyone else, happy questing!